Hey, I'm Alan. Welcome to Bros Fitness. Welcome to today's yoga. My goal is not just to create some videos, but to inform and motivate you. So comment, subscribe, or follow along at brosfitness.com. Today, we'll be moving through a naked yoga sequence. I invite you to wear your favorite underwear or shed whatever feels comfortable. Remember, this is your practice. Today, we'll be moving through asana and pranayama intended to cultivate a sense of workout. I respectively request everyone turn off your cameras and mute your microphones so that everybody can see and hear me clearly. I have a towel, I've got my blocks, I've got my water bottle. When you're ready, go ahead and meet me on the mat. We'll start in child's pose. Take your body as wide as you need to. I'm gonna set a timer and as we're ready, take your legs as wide as your torso needs. Fill the space with your torso. If it's accessible for you, start to bring your head down towards the mat. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and bring a block to support your head on. Ensure that you maintain the stability with your body, perhaps bringing your, your knees in just a little bit closer or using a smaller block. A pillow could work or a yoga blanket. Press out through all four corners of both hands. If you haven't already, go ahead and start to activate your ujjayi breath. Bring constriction to the throat. And every inhale and exhale begins to sound like the waves crashing against one another. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look up towards your hands. If you had a block on, underneath your head before, maybe it's a good time to try and bring it out. Try and bring your forehead down towards the mat. If you already had your forehead on the mat, maybe you could begin to move your forehead back and forth, bringing a small stretch to your neck. Wherever you're at, keep activating your ojai breath. Press out through both hands. On your next inhale, engage through both hands and start to move your hands to the left side as you exhale. Inhale, send energy into that right hip. Maybe the left hip comes down just a little bit closer to the ground or your thighs. Inhale, come back to center. And on your next exhale, walk your hands over to the right side. On your next inhale, walk your hands back to center. Go ahead and come through your arms. We'll come into puppy pose first. Extend your arms out. Bring your hips up to the sky. Engage through the toes. And as you're ready, start to draw your body towards your hands coming into tabletop. We'll do thread the needle pose. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread it through. Take any variation that you'd like. Supporting your body is adequate. Ensure that there's not too much weight placed onto your neck. Try to open your chest on your next inhale. As you exhale, draw the low belly in. Start to walk your left hand back towards your body. Inhale, send your right arm to the sky again. And exhale down. Left arm up, inhale. I'm going to walk my legs back just a little bit more. And exhale, draw your left arm through. Come down, start to walk your right hand away from your body. Inhale, find openness in the chest. Exhale. 
Start to walk your right hand back and inhale, send your left arm to the sky. Exhale, drop it down. Take any subtle movements that you need to. And we'll drop back into a comfortable seated position. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, drop your hands, prayer pose in front of heart center. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. We'll begin to set an intention for today's practice. As I said before, we're, I want to cultivate a sense of workout. Today we'll be moving through some yoga intended to incorporate movements that work your glutes, maybe your core, your arms. There are modifications that I'll try to offer as we go along. As you're ready, set your intention and bring your attention and awareness back to your breath. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms out. Inhale, back up. Exhale, cactus your arms. We'll take a non-traditional yoga pose. Send your arms to the sky, drop your hands down. Inhale, send your right arm up. And exhale, bring it about midway down. Drop it over to the left side and engage the shoulder by pulling the right arm closer to your body with your left. I've got my palm, my left palm facing me as well as my right, I suppose. I've got my hand, my forearm on my right side and traps on my left, bicep in my left forearm. Come back to center, inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, we'll just drop them both forward this time. Drop your right arm just a little bit more, send your left arm to the right side and trap it with your right and we'll come in to a shoulder stretch on the left side. Engage the low belly. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, cactus them out once more. Inhale, arms up, exhale, right arm over left, tuck your left palm into your right, actually tuck your left fingertips into your right palm and press down on your third eye towards your nose. Engage the low belly, net the ribs in. Inhale, unwind, send your arms to the sky, exhale, other side, right fingertips tuck into your left palm. Massage the third eye down if it's accessible and in your practice tonight, today, whatever time it is. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, come over your legs. We'll come back into tabletop pose. Inhale, arch your lower back. Look up for cow. Exhale, press into the mat. Come into cat. Inhale up, exhale down. Go ahead and continue to move on your own breath. When you're ready, start to walk. Press your hands forward into the mat. Engage the toes, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog for the first time today. We won't stay here too long. Heels high, knees low, walk or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, grab opposing elbows, ragdoll pose. Bend your knees, bring your chest over your thighs. Engage from the tailbone to the head. Keep the, lo the upper back engaged. Don't round forward. If it's accessible and you're in your practice, start to straighten your legs. And if you'd like to continue or otherwise, go ahead and start to sway back and forth, taking a mini stretch, both the obliques.
press your palms into the earth and send your arms to the sky. Inhale. Take a mini back bend if it's in your practice. Engage the low belly. Exhale, drop your hands down to Dasana. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Engage through all of your fingers. Feel energetically into the air around you. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. We'll stay here for a couple of rounds of breath. I'm going to move my yoga mat over just a little bit so that I can hit that swan dive. Cool. Inhale, we'll go halfway lift one more time. Bend your knees, exhale, press your palms to the earth. Start to straighten your left, or your right leg rather. Press your left palm into the earth, send your right arm to the sky, engage from the shoulders through to both fingers. Inhale, try and draw that right hip forward, left hip back. Exhale, send your right palm back down, bend your knees. So just straighten the left leg, press your right palm into the mat. Exhale, send your left arm to the sky. If you'd like to, you can bring the floor closer to you by bringing your block underneath your right hand. Exhale, send your palms down to the earth. This time we'll take a yoga jump or walk to the back of the mat. Press your palms in, come down, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra. Press your toes into the mat, press your hands in, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. We'll stay here for five rounds of breath. One. Heels high, bend your knees. And as you're on your next exhale, send your hips just a little bit higher. Breath number three. We'll take that same po same sequence, heels high, knees low, exhale, straighten, breath four, five, heels high, knees low, walker, jump to the top of the mat, inhale, halfway lift, exhale down, arms to the sky, and exhale to Dasana, palms forward. Inhale, arms up. Take a mini back bend if it's in your practice. Come back to neutral and send your hands to the ground. Swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. Yoga jumper, walk to the back. Come down, chaturanga. And inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. If you've chosen to join me in Cobra or an upward facing dog, engage through both feet, engage the legs, over the toes, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Five breaths, one, two, start to bend your knees, three, paddle out your feet. Four, five, draw your biceps forward, triceps back, heels high, knees are low, walk or jump to the top of the mat, inhale, halfway lift, exhale down, send your arms to the sky, exhale down, Tadasana, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring your feet and your inside thigh together, chair pose. Sun salutation modification B. Exhale, bend over your legs, swan dive down, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale down. Press your hands in the mat, walk or jump to the back. Chaturanga, inhale in the cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Draw your right leg up, one-legged downward dog. 
Inhale, bring it up to your hands. Press your left. Heel down, rotate your left foot out, 45 degrees, come up. Neutral pelvis, forward. Press your hands into the sky, warrior two, warrior one. As you're ready, cactus your arms, exhale. Inhale up, exhale, drop your hands behind your head. Try and bring your elbows just a little bit closer together. Do your best not to draw your head forward, but instead to support your head. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, drop them down. Drop your left leg down, low lunge. Anjanyasana. Drop your left leg down, send your arms to the sky, crescent low lunge. Exhale, send your arms down. This time we'll change feet. Go ahead and start to walk your hands over, bringing your left leg to the front perspective. Inhale, send your arms to the sky, warrior one. My right heel is back, is down and out 45 degrees. Exhale, cactus your arms. Draw the low belly in, knit the ribs in, inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, drop your hands behind your head. Support your head, send your elbows to the sky. Inhale, arms up, draw your hands down, press your front foot into the mat. And we'll drop our right knee down, coming up into low lunge and then Anjanyasana, arms to the sky, drop your right foot down. Send your arms down to the mat and draw your right leg up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down to the mat. Take as much of a bend as you need. Inhale, arms up. Chair. Utkatasana. Exhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, down to Dasana. Samastitahi. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hips back. Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, come down to the mat. Swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Start to draw that right leg back. Press that right heel in. All four corners of both feet press into the mat. Right foot out, 45 degrees. Arms up, warrior one. Draw the low belly in, at the ribs in. As you're ready, send your arms down, rotate your right heel up, drop your right knee down, come up, crescent lunge or anjanyasana, low lunge, low crescent lunge, there we go. Arms down, left leg back, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra, upward facing dog. And exhale over your toes, hips to the sky, downward dog. Five breaths, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Draw your right leg up, bring your foot up to your hands. Drop your left heel down, out 45 degrees, come up, warrior one. Engage the low belly, draw the, knit the ribs in.
Send your arms down, press into the mat, draw that left heel up, drop your left knee down, come up, Andrangasana, low crescent lunge, press all four corners of the front foot in, engage through the low belly. Hinge forward, drop your hands towards the earth, engage through the left leg, draw the left knee up, and walk your left foot up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, send your arms to the sky, chair pose. And exhale, arms up, neutral spine, neutral body, exhale down to Dasana. Samas Chitahi. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Walker jump to the back of the mat. Come down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Nakoba, or upward facing dog. Over your toes, hips to the sky, downward dog. Bend your right knee. Draw your right knee up to your nose. Exhale back, downward dog. Right leg up, draw your right knee in to your right elbow. Send it back to the sky. Bend your right leg, bring your right knee up to your left elbow. Send your leg to the sky. And drop your right leg down. Left leg to the sky. Bend your knee, draw it in through your belly and bring it up to your nose. Send it back to the sky. Draw your right leg, your left leg into your left knee. Sorry, your left elbow. Send your left leg back to the sky. Draw your left leg in. Bring your left knee to your right elbow. Left leg back up to the sky. Drop your left foot down. Downward dog. Five breaths, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Draw your right leg in, bring your right foot up to your hands. Come up, warrior two, and drop your left heel down, right left, left foot out, 45 degrees. My pelvis is facing up towards the left side of my mat. If you like to bring more space for your hips, you can send your left leg out or left leg to right side. Wherever you're at, keep noticing your breath. Notice your thoughts now, acknowledge them. Inhale, press into that front foot. Exhale out. We'll go ahead and switch our perspectives. Both feet parallel. Exhale, press into the left leg. Bend the left knee. As always, you can bring your right leg to the right side of your perspective. We're back. Let's make a little bit more space for your hips. As you're ready, go ahead and hinge into it. Windmill your arms down, press your right leg up. Walk your right foot up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hinge forward, bend over your thighs. Inhale, sit into, sit back, chair pose with Katasana. And exhale, neutral, drop your hands down, Tadasana. Close your eyes, we'll take a few rounds of breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer pose. 
Tadasana, drop your hands down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer pose. Press your hands together, create friction between them, generating heat. It's kind of hot today in Denver, but it feels good to create friction between my hands. Feel the sensation of the warmth. Inhale, set your arms to the sky. Exhale, drop them together. Feel how warm they feel. Go ahead and start creating more friction. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, swan dive down. Grab opposing elbows. Feel the warmth that you created in your hands as you press into your, into your arms. Exhale, down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Draw your left foot back. Come in, warrior one, warrior two. We'll stay here for a couple of rounds of breath before we move into extended side angle. Go ahead and start to hinge forward, tuck your elbow in or drop your hand down to a block. Send your left arm over your body. Ensure that the left or the right Knee stays over the left or the right ankle. Start to draw your body back. Engage the core to come back to center of the warrior two. Drop your left palm to your left thigh. Send your right arm up, revolved warrior. Come back to center. Change your perspective. Bring your block with you if you want. Warrior two, left side front. Draw your block in if you used one last time. So to draw your left hand forward, drop your left hand down to the mat, extend your right arm to the sky. Engage the core to come back up to center. Press in through all four corners of both feet. Right hand to right thigh, left hand up, revolved warrior. And as you're ready, when your arms down, kick your right heel up. Send your right leg up to your hands. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, grab opposing elbows like we did on the other side. Exhale down. Inhale, Utkatasana. And exhale, hands to the sky. Drop your hands down, Tadasana. Engage your low belly. Notice your thoughts. If you've let your mind wander, acknowledge your thoughts and bring your an awareness back to your breath. Inhale, arms to the sky. Press out through both hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees all the way to bring your palms down to the earth. Start to move the weight into your heels, balancing it equally. Straighten your, your hamstrings, straighten your legs, bring a stretch to your hamstrings, that is. As you're ready, again, bring up your bend back and yoga jump to the back of the mat. Chaturanga. Inhale in the cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale over your toes, hips to the sky, downward dog. Send your left leg up, one-legged downward dog. 
bring your left leg up to your hands. Drop your right your left foot down. Right heel comes down. Warrior two. Start to hinge forward. This time we'll tuck our right elbow, our left elbow on, coming back into side angle. Come on back to center. Revolved warrior. Back to warrior two. This time, grab your block again. We're going to come into Trikonasana. Bring your right foot in just a little bit closer. Start to hinge forward with your left hand. Drop your left hand down. Right arm up as you start to straighten your left leg. Take as much space as you need for your body to come parallel to the mat. Stack the shoulders. Drop. Start to bend your left leg. Come back up to center. Warrior two. Right hand to right knee. Left arm up. Revolved warrior. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale back to center. We'll go ahead and change our perspective. Both feet parallel to the front and back of the mat. Exhale, bring your right leg perpendicular to the new front. So to engage the right leg, bending into the right knee. Warrior two. The vinyasa from last time, go ahead and hinge forward. Tuck your right elbow down. Extended side angle pose. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Left arm down, right arm up, revolved warrior. Come back up to center. Grab your block. Drop your uh, left foot in just a little bit closer. Start to hinge forward with your right hand, reaching out for your block. Straighten your left leg. Hinge down, left arm to the sky. Draw the low belly in, engage the ribs. Don't let the shoulders sh shrink in, push through both hands. As you're ready, start to bring a bend into your right leg. Come back up to center, warrior two. Left arm down, revolved warrior. And exhale, windmill your arms down to the earth. Kick your left heel up. Draw your left foot up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, arms up, Utkatasana. And exhale, Samasthiti or Tadasana. I'm gonna grab some water really quickly. As you're ready, I'm gonna turn forward so that you can, we can go through a tree together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer pose. Start to draw your right foot. We'll start here. Bring the ball of your right foot towards the mat. Bring your right knee out. Tree pose, modification one. If this is accessible for you, send your arms to the sky. Drop your shoulders down. Inhale, press through both palms, come back to center. Rotate your right leg back in, shake it out. We'll go ahead and take this on the other side. Keep your arms in prayer pose. Bring your heel inside, rotate your left leg out. Try to support your body your right leg, keeping the ball of your left foot on the ground. If this is accessible for you, swing your arms to the sky. Exhale, drop your pose, rotate your left leg in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer pose. Now start to draw your right leg to your calf. Place it 
on your left calf, the ball of your right foot. Press through both feet. Feel support in the left leg. And if this is accessible for you, send your arms to the sky. Engage the low belly, knit the ribs in. Press your palms together, prayer pose. Start to rotate your leg forward and drop it down. Tadasana pose. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, prayer pose. Left foot to your left, to your right calf. Tree pose variation two. Feel support in the right foot. Feel engagement in the left. If this is accessible for you, send your hands to the sky. And exhale, left leg forward and drop your hands down to Dasana. Inhale, arms to the sky. And this one is important, prayer pose. When you bring your right leg up, we're gonna shoot our right leg towards the inside of the left thigh. Try and keep, do your best to keep your foot from resting on your knee. In fact, if your foot rests on your knee, come out of the pose and come into the calf variation that we just did. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. Try and bring that right foot up your left thigh. And if this is not accessible for you, that's okay. Engage the low belly. If you'd like to continue, go ahead and press your arms to the sky. Exhale, prayer pose. Come forward, drop your right leg down, hands down, palms forward, Tadasana. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, same thing. Bring your left foot up to the inside of your right thigh. If your left foot is on the right knee, you need to come out of the pose. I have not been feeling too balanced today on my left side. Draw your right hip forward if you're like me. If you need to, you can always use the wall. Feel engagement through all four corners of the front foot. If you'd like to continue, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, prayer pose, drop your right, your left leg down to Dasana. I'm gonna come back to center. And inhale, arms up, boot Dasana. Exhale, swan dive down. Feel engagement from the, the tailbone to the crown as you inhale, halfway lift. Bend your knees, press. If you need to bring your hands up to your thighs to feel the press from your tailbone to your head. Exhale, down to the ground. Draw your right leg back, but this time bring it parallel to the back of the mat. Bring your left, your hands in front of your body and bring your left foot parallel to the front of your fo the former front of your mat. Press in through all four corners of both feet and exhale. Prayer pose in front of heart center. Inhale, arms forward and exhale as it feels accessible. Start to hinge from the hips, coming down either onto your blocks like so, or coming down onto your hands. Try to keep your body straight through the movement, not rounding the low back like this, but instead taking your hips as far as you can go, as far as you'd like to go tonight, as far as your body will let you, that is. Engage through both corners of all four corners of both feet into the earth. Start to walk your hands up your body and inhale. Come all the way up, draw the hips or draw the the low belly in and send your arms to the sky. Exhale, prayer pose in front of heart center. Press out through both hands into the walls in front and behind, behind you or to the sides of wherever you are. Inhale, arms to the sky. 
Exhale, drop your hands behind your body. If you can interlace your fingers, that's cool, do that. If you need to take a towel, which I might choose to do, whatever works for you. If you'd like to bring your fists together behind your back, that's also a great thing to do. Or if you have the flexibility, bring your hands together in prayer pose, you know that you, know that you can do that. Start to hinge forward from the core, using the core. Keep your arms up, engage the shoulders. Knit the ribs in, knit the low belly in. Feel straightness from your tailbone all the way to your crown. Press into all four corners of both feet. Engage the inner thighs by pressing into the inner sides of both your right and your left foot. And exhale, drop your arms down to the earth. If it's accessible for you, face your fingertips towards you and walk your hands towards your body and bring a bend into your knees. Bring a bend into your elbows and start to hinge forward. Prasarita Pajatanasana variation. As you're ready, bring your hands to your feet and start to draw your body up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, arms to the sky. Take a mini back bend if you'd like. And exhale, draw up your hands down to your hips. If you have trouble coming up in that movement, go ahead and take your chin first and then look up with your head. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, bring them to your hips. And start to walk all the way down towards your feet. Ensure that you're bending from the hips and not rounding in the upper spine. Engage the low belly, engage the ribs. <clears throat> Take a drink of water if you need to. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and bring your fingertips facing towards your body. Start to walk your hands underneath your legs and bend into your elbows. Maybe your knees bend a little bit to help support you. Exhale, press through both corners, of, all four corners of both feet. Bring your hands to your wrists and inhale, come back up to center. As I said before, if this is a little challenging, you can bring your chin to your chest. Bring your head up first. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of third eye center. We'll go ahead and walk our leg just a little bit closer. Hinge both legs out and find a bend in both legs coming into goddess pose. Engage the low belly. And press up, rotate your legs back in. Inhale, arms to the sky, and exhale. Bring them to your hips. Go ahead and hinge forward into your left leg. Bring your right leg down. Windmill your arms to the ground. Walk that right leg up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, swan dive back down. Go ahead and take your right leg behind your left. Bend into both legs. Come down into a comfortable seated position. Take any subtle movements that you need to. Go ahead and straighten both legs coming into Dandasana. Drop your shoulders down your back. Press both palms into the earth. Engage through the chest. Inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, try to hinge forward. Maybe you use your blocks. To help support your body. Feel the dexterity of your toes. If you have some blocks, move them out of the way. And inhale, send your arms to the sky, engage the low belly, press your hands as you exhale into the mat. 
draw the right foot in, bring it up towards your glutes, hug your right knee in, inhale, send your right arm behind your body, and your left arm up, touch your left elbow into your right knee, and begin to look over your right side. Inhale, extend from the tailbone to the crown. Draw the low belly in and find a little bit deeper of a twist to the right. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, left arm behind your body, right arm up. Take a counter twist to the left side. And exhale, come back to center. Press out through both feet and bring your hands down to the mat. Draw your left leg in, hug your left knee in towards your body. Exhale, drop your left hand behind your body, right hand to the sky. Exhale, bring your, left, your right elbow to your left knee. Start to look over your left shoulder. Draw your low belly in. Engage the foot on the right side. Inhale, try and bring your belly in just a little bit more. Feel extension from the tailbone to the crown and look over your left side. Inhale, right arm to the sky, drop it to the right side, left arm up and exhale. Take a twist to the right. Inhale, right arm, or your left arm up. Press your left foot out, Dandasana. When you're ready, start to draw your hips, your glutes towards your feet. Come down one vertebra at a time. If you're back on the mat. As you're ready, go ahead and inhale, bring your knees up to your chest. Exhale, drop them down. We have some glute work and some core work. So let's get started. We're gonna do a bridge pose modification, but we're gonna breathe on a four, two, down tempo. So press both feet, both palms into the earth, engage through all four corners of both feet. Draw the hips up, inhale, one, two, Three, four, engage the glutes. Two, and exhale. Try and keep the glutes from stopping when they hit the ground. When you're ready, two. Engage the glutes, and down. Three. Drop the glutes down. Inhale, four. Exhale down. Five. Exhale down. Inhale up. Press through the glutes, engage the thighs. Exhale down. Six. Seven. Inhale up. Hold and down. Eight. Engage the glutes. Nine. Sorry, that was eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Two. Three. Four. Hold. Two. Down. 13, two, three, four, hold, two, down. 14, two, three, four, hold, two, down. 15, two, three, four, hold, two, down. 16, two, three, four, hold, two, down. 17, two, three, four, hold, two, down. 
18, two, three, four, hold, two, down. 19, two, three, four, hold, two, down. 20, two, three, four, hold, two, down. We'll go ahead and bring our right foot to the right side, left foot to the left, drop your left heel in, try and let your left glute come up just a little bit. We'll go ahead and bring the right foot, or the right knee in this time. Go ahead and flip over to your belly. Press into the mat, come into downward dog. We're gonna do a mini vinyasa just to reverse the 20 bridges that we just did. Come down, inhale, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Press the feet into the earth. If you're in upward facing dog, engage the legs and the glutes and exhale over your toes, hips to the sky. We'll do five more of those over your hands. Come down, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale over your toes, hips to the sky, downward dog. Over hands, plank, down to chaturanga. Inhale in the cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale over your toes, engage the low belly, downward dog. Two more. Last time. And exhale, downward dog. Drop your knees down, come back. Drop your feet in to the earth and start to come back down one vertebra at a time. Go ahead and windshield wiper your legs out. Right, drop both knees to the right side. Both knees to your left. Inhale, draw your knees up to your chest. Go ahead and rotate the heads of the femur inside of your hip sockets. If you got some blocks, go ahead and drop them out of the way just for now. Inhale, bring your knees up to your chest. Send your left leg out. We'll go ahead and do, inhale, start to drop the right foot over, the right knee over to your left side. Straighten your right arm out. And if it's accessible tonight, go, today, go ahead and look towards your right arm. Go ahead and draw your right arm up to the sky. Engage the right knee and bring your right leg back home. Walk it out. Windshield wiper. Inhale, bring your knees up to your chest. Exhale, drop your right leg down. Hug your right knee and let's switch sides. Send your right arm out as you start to draw your left leg. Left knee over to the right side. Inhale, relax the left hip. Send your left arm to the sky, grab your right or your left knee and bring it back home. Walk it out. Windshield wipe your legs. And inhale, bring your knees up to your chest. 
drop your feet down to the earth. Bring your heels together, the insides of your feet. Finally, both feet all the way together. Drop your knees down to the mat. Come to, come into Supta Baddha Konasana. Drop your hands down, palms to the sky. When you're ready, engage the core. Draw the knees back together, press in the mat. Bring your right foot out to the right side of your mat, left foot out to the left. Draw your left knee in. Right knee, neutralize your spine. Inhale, draw your knees up to your chest. Exhale, drop your left foot down. Right heel, right uh, ankle to your left knee. Draw your left foot closer, and if it's accessible, reach out for your left thigh. Try and bring both legs closer to your body in tandem. Inhale, send energy into the right hip, into the piriformis. Exhale, can you draw in just a little bit closer? Bring those legs in just a little bit closer. And inhale, come back down. Go ahead and drop your right leg to the mat and bring your left foot, your left ankle up to your right knee. Start to draw your right foot up closer to your body and grab towards the outside of your right thigh. Bring both, draw both legs closer to your body. Inhale. Exhale, can you come in just a little bit closer? Inhale, send energy into that left piriformis, the left hip. As you exhale, can you draw it in? Draw your legs in just a little bit closer. On your next exhale, drop your right leg down to the mat. Bring your foot down with it and drop your left foot down. Windshield wiper your legs. As you're ready, start to draw your knees in towards your chest. Go ahead and hug your body in closer. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Remember that intention that you set when we started today. Go ahead and bring your thoughts back to it. Whether we are, were able to accomplish it, if it was a new pose or Getting something in just a little bit deeper. Go ahead and inhale, draw the low belly in. And exhale, hug your knees in just a little bit closer. Thank yourself for coming to today's practice. As you're ready, go ahead and bend in both knees, drawing the feet up towards the sky. Go ahead and reach out to both with your hands coming into happy baby. Take your baby wherever you'd like to go. Listen to your body. If it's accessible for you, you can go ahead and reach towards your big toes with your peace fingers and your thumb. As you're ready, draw both feet back together. Start to drop your feet back towards the earth. Your knees come with. Walk it out. We're coming into our final pose of the evening. I invite you, or the day rather. <laughs> I invite you to take any final poses, anything that we may not have gotten to, any subtle, subtle movements that your body wants. If you want more Windshield wiper in your legs, go ahead and go for it. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and start to drop your hands towards the earth, stretch your legs out. We'll find ourselves coming into our final pose of the evening or the day. 
if you happen to be practicing with somebody else, this would be a great time to go ahead and let them into their Shavasana. If you happen to feel any temptation to come out of yours early, try and stay in it or stay in the movement in order to make it make the person around you feel safer in their Shavasana tonight or today. If you happen to see me sitting up towards the end of the practice, you're not in the wrong spot. I'm just going to sit up towards the end of the practice to guide us through the final meditation. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and inhale, send energy into the chest, the mid chest, and the belly. As you exhale, start to feel your shoulders come closer to the mat. Your belly sinks in just a little bit closer. Maybe your feet come down just a little bit more. Inhale, fill the belly, the mid chest, and the upper chest. As you exhale, start to feel relaxation generated from your core towards your hips and your chest. Inhale, fill the belly, the mid chest, and the upper chest. As you exhale, start to feel energy moving from your fingertips towards your core where it's gonna stay for a little bit. From your finger, from your knee, or your toes to your core where it will also remain. Inhale, fill the belly, the mid chest, and the upper chest. As you exhale, start to feel your back more grounded, your hips, the glutes come just a little bit closer to your mat. On your next inhale, Fill the lungs. As you exhale, start to lose yourself in your breath as we come in to Shavasana.
start to quicken your breath. If you'd like to remain in Shavasana, now would be a great time to pause me in, and I'll give you a moment to do so. Start to move your glutes towards your body as you move your legs, your ankles, your foot toes, and your fingertips. Press one hand onto your belly and one hand onto your heart. Inhale, fill both simultaneously. Exhale out. Inhale back to center. And fill the belly and the mid chest. Exhale out. Last one, inhale. Belly breath, chest breath simultaneously. Exhale through the mouth. If your glutes are your, if your feet are your glutes, go ahead and drop your, your knees down to one side. Or otherwise, walk your feet towards your glutes and lock your knees towards one side. Come into a fetal position, and as you're ready, press into the mat, sitting up into a comfortable seated position. As you're ready, inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, prayer pose in front of third eye center. Thanks for making it through today's practice. The light in the teacher in me now acknowledges and appreciates the light in the teacher in you. Namaste. A great body starts with a great plan. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Alan. I'll be around for a little bit. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.